Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and the author of many books on how to draw just about everything. Hey, I want to show you something today. I've been getting a lot of questions about character design. How do you create an original character that looks really cool? Well, it's a little different than you might think. We're going to talk about the shape of the head, not so much the features that you may think give it the most expression. So I'm going to start, we're going to start with a dog because they are basically among the most popular character types. Here's the top of its head, back of its forehead, front, give it a nice long bridge of the nose. Okay, so, and the ears will come, I'll make the ears come up. Now, we'll start with this blue pencil and then we'll go over it in black. So how are we going to make this unique? Well, first of all, it's got a very flat forehead, as you can see, and I'm going to put the eye right here. So the eye is very close to the forehead, and it's kind of small. Here comes the neck, and we'll give him a big neck. Let's say, but first I have to come up with the, the mouth. So you notice that when you do the nose on a dog, the front of the face doesn't come straight down usually. I curve it like this, bring it down, and bring a tiny flap up, just to kind of exaggerate what we know, which is that they have flaps, which are called flues on dogs. A little chin. See how I'm doing a big nose combined with a little chin? I'll bring that back straight, and then I'll widen out the neck. So now he has some power. See, he looks like he has some power. Give him a little bit of dimension here. See, in a real side view, you couldn't see the inside of the mouth. So we're kind of cheating a little bit to show dimension. I'm going to give a little more width here. And remember, we're going to go over this again. So here's one way curving it up. You can curve it out. You can put a nostril in it. Now, here's another cheat, quote, unquote. I mean, no one's going to kick you out of a test room for this. It's not a real cheat. But what I mean is, you know how we added a little dimension in a flat side view here? We can do it here also, which is a, the other eyebrow muscle. We're going to put that in too. So both of them will show. Now, instead of normal ears just down like this, he is really alert. He is energetic and on guard. So we're going to bring those ears forward and have them kind of pointed at the end. Give him an edge. And even float this one and I'm going to give a marking here. Now notice I haven't talked very much about the stuff that makes this character look a certain way. I'm talking about how to design things. So look at all the planes we have. We have a short plane, an ultra short plane going into a long diagonal, another diagonal, flat, flat, small chin. We're varying everything. So let me use this and we will Finalize this and get to see how it looks. Eyebrow, eyebrow. You know, eyebrows are a muscle. They're not just the hairy part, it's a muscle. That's why they're so expressive, because they rise and fall and they crush into the, the character's nose area. So we're really exaggerating that. And look at this, we're even going to caricature the ears. They're going to start in a really tiny, tiny dot almost a singularity if it were as it were and same thing here let's shade that in i'm a uh, fan of cosmology so anytime i can use the word singularity i stick it in there I should probably not do that. Okay, a little tuft of hair over here. And this isn't just, just a decoration. This is going to define the cheek area from the neck area. It looks like, oh, just a little fur, which is what I want you to think. So you see how we actually use different, different things for design purposes that look like they're just embellishments. Rounded, like I said. Flatter, but still round. Little upturn area for the flu, that part of the lip, and some very short and narrow teeth. It's a funny look because he's got such a big head, we're contrasting it. 
small chin. Some whiskers here. Let's bring that nose here and then down. See that little down area? Shine. Now here's a little fun we can have. First I'll give him a little more here, a little sh shadow, and a little on top here. And the back part, oh, I almost didn't shade that in. That would have been a mistake. And now, the, what I like to do sometimes, if something's very bold, black and white, sometimes you want to modify it with a little bit of color, a little hint of color. Kind of brings it out, softens the starkness of the black. That's a nice little design element. See? Hey, I really enjoyed that. I hope you liked it too. Oh, let me just add a little more here. Uh, okay. And hey, I've got new videos uploaded every Monday. I hope you'll join me. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.